决定命运。中国的发展，关键在于中国人民在中国共产党领导下，走出了一条适合中国国情的发展道路。Beijing, and behind me is Chang'an Avenue, one of the most famous roads in China. And here, it's also known as the National Avenue. It's long, straight, and wide, and crosses almost the entirety of the city. And this 600-year-old avenue has also been witness to the success and development of China over the past century. On the 1st of October 1949, the establishment of New China was announced at Tiananmen on Chang'an Avenue. And it was then that the Communist Party of China began the process of modernization. The Communist Party of China has led the country on a socialist path, in line with the interests of the country's people and with an aim of achieving common prosperity. China has made impressive achievements and reforms despite difficulties and setbacks. Over the past 40 years since it launched reform and opening up, over 700 million people in rural areas have been lifted out of poverty. More recently, the number of Chinese people living in rural poverty has decreased from 166 million in 2010 to 43.35 million in 2016. In four years, China is aiming to lift all people out of poverty. In line with the poverty reduction target set in the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, 10 years ahead of schedule. China solved the problem of 13 billion people in poverty, making 7 billion people out of poverty. 这是对人权事业的重大贡献。China is confidently putting forward this goal, as the Communist Party of China, China's ruling party, is aiming for a path of development in line with the interests of the people. As the world's largest party with 89 million members, the Communist Party of China cherishes a set of philosophies and goals in line with the changing times. New era Chinese social philosophy. 是对马克思列宁主义、毛泽东思想、邓小平理论、三个代表重要思想、科学发展观的继承和发展，是马克思主义中国化最新成果，是党和人民实践经验和集体智慧的结晶，是中国特色社会主义理论体系的重要组成部分，是全党全国人民为实现中华民族伟大复兴而奋斗的行动指南。必须长期坚持并不断发展。Chang'an Avenue has been of great historical significance, and now the National Avenue is being likened to China's own path of development. Now, 50 years ago, most of the buildings here were government ministries, but now, in line with China's fast pace of development, new banks, department stores, and commercial buildings have all sprung up like mushrooms around the area. And so, Chang'an Avenue could be seen to be a microcosm of China's opening up. And innovation. In the past 68 years, socialist theory with Chinese characteristics has become the core philosophy guiding China's development path. And in the past five years, the Communist Party of China has not only demonstrated leadership and good execution of projects, but also determination for improvement. China's anti-graft authority says more than 220 senior officials. And over 1.3 million grassroots officials have been punished since 2013. We continue to fight lions and lions together, to the end. What China was doing was an example um, to many other countries. 
Uh, and I think if this, if, if the anti-corruption campaign can be lifted onto an international level in some way. So discipline is one of the key elements of successful political activity. So I think President Xi is probably very wise to focus on discipline. The strength of the CPC lies in its choosing a path of development in line with China's own specific conditions, allowing the country to grow gradually. And its great strategy is it's trying to benefit others as it moves forward on that path. In 2016, the total volume of trading goods between China and countries along the Belt and Road reached 947.8 billion US dollars, accounting for 25.7% of China's total imports and exports. So far, 52 rail links have opened connecting China and 12 European countries and 32 cities in Europe. Behind me is the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, or AIB. It was set up four years ago under a proposal by President Xi Jinping as the first multilateral financial institution established by China. And it's expected that by 2017, 85 countries and regions will be its members. By the end of 2016, the Silk Road Fund has committed an accumulative investment of about 6 billion US dollars while the China proposed Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank has provided 1.7 billion US dollars in loans for nine projects. Chang'an Avenue, which crosses Beijing, starts off at a mere 15 meters wide and expands out into a full 10-lane road. And that's why more and more it's being used as a metaphor of how the CPC is also expanding the road or path of China's development. We